This is a simplified version of a wine supply change. We are going to talk about this part of the change, uh, which is the daily scheduling, uh, where these activi activities are performed, namely harvest and loading in farms, then the transport from the farm to the winery, then in the winery uploading and grape crushing and finally the transport from the winery back to the farms so the hypothesis is that we normally the winery is composed by many wine presses we're working with wine, one winery and one wine press and many farms so the uh, winery opens up at 10 a.m. and closes at 10 p.m. then it is possible to use the same track twice which means that uh, one track load grapes in the farm one then you have the transport from the farm to the winery then you have the uploading and grape crushing and finally the uh, transport from the winery back to the farm and then you can use the same track to go in this case not back to the farm one but back to another farm let's say farm two and then in the farm two you have the activity of harvest and loading then the transport to the winery uh, unloaded and crap crushing and finally the transport back to any of these farms so um, another hypothesis is that uh, exist different type of trucks you have three different kind of trucks and then you have another restriction which is that uh, at least three of the dump trucks uh, belong to the um, to the winery at least two of these and at least one of these the rest can belong to somebody else uh, so all of these belong to the winery then another hypothesis another hypothesis is that the uh, duration of the har uh, harvest and loading activities depend which is all of these are the harvest and loading activities that we are going to we are going to get as the result of the schedule uh, has to start at 7.30 a.m. then up to midday then they start up again at 2 p.m. ending at 7.30 p.m. because in Argentina as you can see all of these activities are scheduled within this temporal window let's say and uh, this is because in San Juan and Mendoza we used to rest we have a, a siesta, long siesta uh, between these uh, eating hours another hypothesis is that the um, uh, farms you have different farms with different amount of uh, according to the variety you have here uh, let's say 15 tons here none etc so this is going to constrain the the uh, up uploading uh, the, the the loading activities so you have different variety like Merlot, um, Syrah, Malbec etc so when you have a track uh, another constraint is that we want to use the full capacity of the track let's say uh, this one uh, uh, has a limit of 15 ton and this big track can load up, up to 30 tons but the idea is that you don't want to waste the capacity of the track so you don't want to let's say load fifth, uh, 17 tons uh, if the capacity of the track is 30 so you are not going to do that because you are going to waste uh, the full capacity of this big track so you want to use for example this one and then out of these 40 tons you are going to load 
30 and the remaining 10 times will be loaded in uh, another uh, trip so concerning the duration of the uh, harvest and loading activity the duration depend on the type of track because it's driven by the tons for example this one uh, takes uh, longer than this one uh, depends on the variety uh, which uh, determine a harvest rate uh, some variety are uh, takes more time than another variety then the method used to load the track uh, we have traditional manual, assisted manual, or mechanical. And if we are dealing with the manual uh, option, which is traditional and assisted, the quantity of workers is going to determine also the duration. In the case of the duration of the transport activity, whether it is the transfer from a farm to the winery, like in this case, or from the winery to the farm, like in this case, it depends only on the farm where the grapes are loaded from, like in this case, or are unloaded to, like in this case. The duration of the unloaded and crushing activities depend on three factors. The type of tracks, which is intuitively understandable because the bigger the track is, the longer it's going to take this activity the variety because there are different varieties that take different times and the wine press uh, well now we go to the main objectives uh, we have as the first objective that all of these activities are the activities performed by this kind of track so this kind of track um, load 10 tons and uh, as you can see the duration of this activity are 10 then you have the normal kind of track so in this case all of these activities are performed by this kind of track so in this case you have 15 tons so as you can see it's a little longer so 15 and then the big track you have all of these activities activities that are performed by this kind of tracks which uh, load up to 30 tons well in this model exactly 30 tons so all of these activities have to uh, fit within this temporal window which starts at 10 a.m. and finishes at uh, 10 p.m. so you have a maximum quantity of tons this is another uh, constraint uh, and they start uh, within this uh, temporal window so uh, what are the secondary objectives you have to as you can see here uh, you perform the same the first activity the here you have an, another schedule for another uh, track so all of these track are performed by by uh, all of these uh, sequences of activity are performed by this kind of track the dump track where this activity is performed by a, norm, a normal track and these are performed by the big track so what you have here is in this case you are using the same track twice so and ex the same thing happened here you are using the same track twice in this case this is a big track uh, so the idea is to maximize the use of a track twice so this is the case for the big uh, track again uh, so the reuse of uh, reuse of tracks if possible is another is, is a one a secondary objective uh, another secondary objective which is very crucial especially now with the global warming problem is to reduce the total track consumptions which is all of these activities are the activities uh, of, of transport uh, you can see here that for example this activity 
doesn't belong to uh, are not within this temporal window because we here we are talking about transport and when we reach this temporal point we are already in the winery right so uh, you have different duration and different type of track and then the total consumption uh, is, 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 a, is a function that depends of the transport activity which is a function of the uh, duration of the transport activity and ty the type of the track so this is uh, how much the track is going to uh, uh, how much uh, is the consumption of the of the track will depend on the duration which is this is, is this um, brown rectangle here and the type of track which can be big uh, uh, normal and the dump track uh, so the the total track consumption is the sum of the tram uh, consumption of every track for every transportation activity so uh, this is a quite normal problem uh, is, is in San Juan Argentina we have some of the track are new but some of them quite used so you have a huge uh, gas em emission for this old track which uh, our economy is it's not a big or influential economy in the world it's kind of uh, from the econom from the co economic point of view is a, mm, what it is called a small economy uh, however the 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 local pollution is uh, considerably high so we have to take into account this thing so well we need more new tracks of course but the other idea is try to reduce the total track consumption so if we can achieve this goal then even though we are not using new tracks we can partially reduce the pollution problem uh, so well otherwise we will have to resource to this kind of transport like in India more secondary objectives is to reduce the weight of tracks so when you are uh, loading, harvesting, uh, harvesting, uh, harvesting and loading uh, grapes in, in a farm you have this duration so uh, is, is this ac these activities are this green rectangle activities then you have the transport from the farm to the winery arm um, from the winery back to the farms which is with are these brown activities then you have uh, unloading and grape crushing which is this purple color rectangles so the transport uh, is preceded by by uh, the activity in the winery and when you arrive uh, from the from this point to this point so you here you, you say the transport back from the winery back to the farm uh, take place let's say at uh, 1 p.m. right so here you have 1 p.m. and then uh, this track has to be in the winery again at this time so here you have an uh, idle time in which you are not using the track so in Argentina we take advantage to drink mate even our Pope is devoted to mate so uh, we would like to reduce this time this idle time because for example as you can see here is not that bad but this weight in farms is the uh, sum of all of the time that the uh, tracks are waiting so uh, in these cases you have a long time that we should reduce so normally uh, the truck drivers take advantage to just take a siesta 
but it costs money so basically uh, the the weight of the track you have two sources one when they wait in the farms and second when they wait in the winery so this is the weight that we want to reduce so as you can see these are uh, secondary objectives that are competitive because you have many so uh, you want to reduce weight of track you want to reduce uh, uh, pollution you want to so there is a kind of competitive uh, objectives so uh, now we are jump to the third part which is the implementation